Hey guys, so today we are going to take it back a notch and talk about some disappointing products. Now, I always talk about products I love and things like that, and sometimes I will mention to you when something doesn't work for me, and lately I've come across a few things that just don't work for me, and I wanted to share them with you. There's some high-end, there's some drugstore. I don't have a ton, but these are just products that are at the top of my head that I just don't like that didn't work for me. Now, quickly, I want to say just because I don't like something a company came out with doesn't mean I don't like the entire company. I like a lot of these brands, but this just didn't work for me. And I want you guys to keep in mind, I have oily skin, very oily. I have rosacea and I have high tan expectations. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up. I haven't done it in years and I'm talking years, like probably three years because sometimes when you make these videos, people get really upset in the comments. But just know everybody has different skin types, expectations, and wants and just needs with their makeup and skincare. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see the things that were disappointing to me so far this year, then let's just get started. Okay, so the first one is one that I know a ton of people love and a ton of people swear by. People that are world-renowned makeup artists and things like that, they love this foundation. But... For my oily skin, it has never worked for me. So it is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This looks great on so many different skin tones and skin types. They have so many different colors. But I think this is more for combo to normal to dry skin. It really sucks because I've seen so many people wear this and their skin looks absolutely amazing. But when I wear it... I immediately look oily and gross and then throughout the day it does not stay on my skin at all even if I set it it just looks really bad on my skin so this was the first product I wanted to mention because it just didn't work for me but let me know if you have oily skin if you've tried the new stick one I've also heard some people say that that one kind of slides around as well if you have oily skin so let me know in the comments if you are oily if you used it if you love it or what but for my oily skin it was like mm -mm, not today Okay, the next one is another foundation, and I mainly didn't like this foundation because of the problem areas that I have. I do have rosacea, if you don't know, and this is the Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. I've heard some really great things about this, and I wanted to try it out. Oh, I have a lot of redness. This didn't cover anything at all. I know it's a weightless foundation. It's light to medium coverage. I totally get it, but to me, stuff like this makes my rosacea look worse. It's like you try to cover it up, but it's still showing through, and it just looks really, really uneven and messy. Again, I'm just really picky about foundations, and I do like some medium coverage foundations, like the one I'm wearing right now is the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion, and I really, really like it. Even with the concealer on top, I think it looks great, but... Oh, this one just did not look good on top of my rosacea, and I just, ooh. I do love Buxom, but this is just one that I'm going to have to pass on. I'm always nervous about putting out videos like this because even companies, like, don't like it. Like, they get mad, and it's just like, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't like your product. Can't like everything. The next thing is one that I have tried so many times to like and I just despise this product because every time I put it on my face it ruins my makeup and I've seen a lot of people love this one as well like a lot of these things people love and I'm like mm, I don't like it <laughs> it just didn't work so it is the it cosmetics bye bye pores poreless finish HD micro powder so like I said I do have redness underneath my foundation and everything my rosacea and okay oh I had tried this like a year or so ago and I just brushed it on with my powder brush and I noticed it rubbed away my foundation, especially around my cheek area because my rosacea was just coming through. My foundation covered it, but then when I tried to put powder on, it like rubbed it all away. So I was like, okay, all right, maybe I did that wrong, da 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 da. So I went to pat it on my skin <laughs> and it did the same thing about a year ago. And I was like, oh, whatever, I'm not, I'm not even going to try this again. So It Cosmetics actually sent me a PR package and they sent me this again. And this is the newest one and I was like, all right, maybe they've reformulated it. Maybe it's not going to ruin my foundation. Whatever. I put it on. I decided to bake with this. So I was like, maybe if I bake and it really sets everything, it won't move nothing. I baked underneath my eyes and I went to dust it away very lightly, might I add, with a duo fiber brush. 
And my foundation, again, just came off around my cheeks and you could completely see my redness and I was like, I am done. I'm never trying this product again. I've tried it three times and I just, I cannot get it to work for me. Completely takes off my foundation right in here and you just see rosacea like in your face and it's not cute. And then I'm like, well, I guess I'm going out looking like crazy today because I don't have time to fix it. So very, very disappointed in this product that it didn't work for me because it does have like a really great finish on certain people that I've seen. Like it's very poreless. But I don't even know. I don't get very far with this. I don't even know if it keeps you matte throughout the day. I have absolutely no idea. I can't get past the fact that it rubs my foundation off. So this product was definitely a no-go for me. That's like what I'm really passionate about because I've tried it three times. Three times. Okay, so that was some high-end stuff. I do have one more high-end product to share with you, but I want to share some drugstore makeup products first. So the first two are highlighters from the drugstore. This one is the Physician's Formula One. I don't know what it's called because it ripped off with the packaging. But I remember seeing this everywhere for a while, like last year, and I was like, shut up. I need to try that. That looks amazing. This doesn't show up on my skin at all. It doesn't give me a really pretty glow, nothing. It does not show up whatsoever on me. So this was just all in all didn't work on my skin tone. Maybe if you have lighter skin tone, you would really like this. Or maybe I just got a dud. Because some people that I've seen use this, it's like, woo, that highlight though. It looks good. On me, it's like, where's the highlight at? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then this one was so disappointing. I had really high hopes for this one. It's the Sonia Kashuk Sahara Sunset Highlighter. And it came in a package like this. I don't know if it was limited edition or what. But y'all, they had it open like this in the package. And you could see all the colors. And I was like, yes! I found a new drugstore highlighter that is going to be amazing. I swatched it and I was like, yes! This is everything! I'm so excited! I put it on my face and I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing out of it. I've tried the different, like, look at how gorgeous that looks when you swatch it. Like, it looks so pretty, but once you put it on your face, it, like, dusts away, and you don't see your highlight at all. I mean, it didn't even really last at all on my skin, the little bit that you could see. Like, just dust it off throughout the day, and as I was applying it, and I was like, this is such a bummer. I'm so sad about it, so... This is another one I just wasn't a fan of. Maybe they don't even have it anymore. Maybe it was like a limited edition thing, but it didn't work for me. And I'm really sad because this is like my fave color right here. It just didn't work. One more drugstore makeup product is one that I found out about yesterday. It was in one of my recent drugstore hauls. And it is the CoverGirl True Blend Nudes Palette. Now, I do like this for a really simple look, something very quick, um, not to, not when I'm being like super particular with my eyeshadow like I have been today. Today I really worked on my eyeshadow and everything like that. <laughs> I tried to use this for a Valentine's Day makeup look and I could not get this to work for me. The darker shades I do really like and this shade, more like the matte shades I like the most, but these shimmer shades just dust away on me. I was packing on color, just packing and packing and packing. Keep in mind this is with a primer, everything. I was packing on the color and it just wasn't showing up and it was really depressing because this shade right here just gives me life. I like when I swatch it, it's everything. It's like a taupey shimmery shade. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But it didn't work at all for me as I kept piling it on my face. Um, but the newer CoverGirl stuff that's out is really nice, and again, the darker shades in here are great, but, man, these lighter shades, I was just, I was relying on them for my Valentine's Day makeup look, so I could create something like this with drugstore products, but they just, like, dusted away. Okay, this one's gonna be, like, one for people that uh, are probably gonna hound me in the comments, because, let's be real, I love Glam Glow. I adore Glam Glow. I use quite a few things from them, and I just, I love the brand. But this did not work for me. First off, it did work as in skincare wise. I felt like my skin felt really good after this. It felt really tight. But if you are sensitive to smells like I am, when it comes to skincare or whatever, if you're very sensitive to smells, you will probably not like this. This reminds me of something when I was younger and like I think I threw up gummy bears or something and this is what that smells like. Some people say it smells like, smells like pina coladas and I agree it does smell like pina coladas but it smells like a fake smell of pina coladas. You know what I mean? Like you could tell it's not the right smell. 
But I, I was on Snapchat when I tried this out, um, and a lot of you saw my reaction, and it was such a cool mask. I mean, the the kind of like silver tin man thing was really cool and it felt really great when I was peeling it off and afterwards when I moisturized and everything my skin felt great but I could not get past the smell so this was really disappointing for me I know a lot of people do love this mask because it is really great if you like the smell I think you'll like it it's just very intense it's a very intense smell and with it being right underneath my nose I felt really really nauseous that's how sensitive I can be with smells I'm very very picky about skincare products and I'm just so sad this didn't work for me. If it had like, if it had this smell but less like in your face, less intense, I would probably like it. But the moment I opened this, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to hate it. And then my last disappointing product is what I'm wearing right now. And if you're wondering why my damn neck is so tan and so bronze, it's because of this guy. Now this isn't disappointing because it didn't deliver color. This delivered hella color. Like look at this color. I'm not this color at all. This is not me. I had to use one of the darkest foundations that I have, which is the C5.5 from L'Oreal Lumi. If you see this in person, you know this is dark. And I had to use that today, and hopefully my tutorial turned out okay. This is the L'Oreal New Sublime Summer Express Wash Off Buddy Buddy Body Makeup Lotion in Medium. It's a summer glow and instant all day hydration. I expected this to be like a lotion with a hint of like glowiness in it like maybe even a little bit of glitter maybe a hint of color nothing really intense no that is not this product this product is body makeup it's like the Sally Hansen stuff which is what I did not expect it to be <laughs> this is just like the Sally Hansen uh, what is it airbrush leg stuff oh I just wanted this to give me a glow I didn't want like a self tan. I'm already self tan, which is why this is looking a little crazy. But it is a really intense, you know what, F it. I'm just going to show you guys right now how dark this is. So you see it right there. Watch this. I mean, it is dark, y'all. It is so dark that I was scared to death when I put this on my, my chest and neck. I was like, Oh my god, I have to film. This is going to be tragic. When I first put it on, I was like, oh, it's fine. It'll, it'll like buff out. No, it does not buff out. It is basically this color. I wonder what the lighter shade looks like, if it's a little bit better. But oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, it's supposed to be water resistant sweat resistant and transfer resistant and transfer is incorrect because I'm wearing a white shirt right now. It's supposed to be transfer resistant but as you can see it is not transfer resistant. It is all over my white shirt and I waited quite a while before I put this shirt on so. So the main reason why this is disappointing was because like I was going straight from putting this on to filming. If I would have known it was going to give me so much color, I would have like just put on regular lotion. I would definitely only recommend this if you wanted a like instant self tan. Not if you want a glow because they treat me with this glow stuff. Instant summer glow that stays put all day. Streak free, which I don't agree with as well. I don't agree with the streak free part. If you're applying it with your fingers, I don't think it's streak free. I think it is a little bit streaky. That's why I wore this because up here, like you can see my finger marks and stuff. And I've applied self tanner for years. So I would recommend like a mitt to apply this with if you want it completely streak free. And it says all day hydration for flawless, smooth feeling skin. My skin does feel really smooth, I will say that. So those are all my disappointing products so far in 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it somewhat helpful. I hope you're not mad at me because I don't like these products. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Hey, so we're finally done with lunch, dinner. And it took forever. There was nothing but Christmas. The service is kind of horrible, but now we're in this like Christmas store. It's so cute. We want to start getting um, ornaments.